Hello, this is Mr. Martin. These are video notes for uh, geometry. We're going to be talking about ratios and uh, proportions today. So um, let's talk about a ratio, which you've probably looked at before. So a ratio is a comparison of two it could be more, two or more quantities. So we have a bunch of different ways to represent ratios. Um, so one of the most common ways that we'll use uh, is by a fraction. So we could write it A over B, and we would say A to B. Okay. Another way is to write it with a colon. And then a third way is to write it out in words. So we would write A to B. And this way here A to B, that's how we say all of these. We say all of these A to B. So even though it's A over B here, we say A to B. All right? And it's important that ratios should always be simplified. Okay, so basically what we're talking about here is reduce your ratios. Okay, don't forget to reduce your ratios. So let's take a look at writing some um, ratios. So we have an example here. It says a music store has 40 trumpets, 39 clarinets, 24 violins, 51 flutes, and 16 trombones in stock. Give each as a simplified ratio. So we're going to do uh, two of these together, and then I'm going to have you do two as part of your assignment in finishing these notes. So let's do number one, trumpets to violins. So trumpets, there were 40. And we're just going to write these as a fraction since this is the way we normally do it. Two violins, violins there were 24. Okay, and then again, we always want to reduce. So 40 and 24. If you don't know what the greatest common uh, factor is, you could just start reducing by whatever you think. So I know I could divide each of these by 4, so we'll start there. So 40 divided by 4 is 10, and 24 divided by 4 is 6, and this still isn't re reduced completely because now I can reduce by 2, so that would be 5 over 3, and that would be our final answer. All right, and then let's go ahead and do number 3 together. Um, as always with these videos, feel free to pause it anytime you need to, uh, and if we happen to be in class while you're watching, um, you can pause it and ask questions. That's a great uh, technique for learning. All right, so now we have trombones to trumpets. So trombones, we have 16, and trumpets, we had uh, 40, okay, and this is not reduced, so uh, six. I can divide each of these by four, so that's going to be 16 divided by 4 is 4, 40 divided by 4 is 10, and then I can reduce by 2 again, so that would be 2 to 5. Okay, so again, when we're talking about ratios, we're not going to say 2 fifths, we're going to say 2 to 5. So that's just a little uh, subtle difference between working with fractions and uh, fractions as a ratio. All right, so uh, sometimes we'll talk about extended ratios. So extended ratios is a comparison of three or more quantities. Okay, so for extended ratios, we'll write it as A to B to C because we wouldn't really write a fraction with two fraction bars in it. 
You could write it out in words to A, to B, to C using the letter 2, T, O. So, um, so that's a little review of what a ratio is. Make sure you always simplify it um, and a little bit about extended ratios. Uh, again, if you have questions, make sure that you ask and uh, we will see you in the next video.